Hey! It is December 24th, Christmas Eve, and I just had to come and show you um, a makeup look that I tried recently. Side point. If I look and sound a little sick, it's because I am, but um, I'm feeling fine. I just, I guess I'm just getting over something. Here's the story. I haven't really been that into makeup lately since like the end of the summer really I was just kind of like eh. I mean yeah I, I have been wearing makeup off and on but I haven't found anything that's really sparked my interest until recently my friend is a shoe and accessories designer she asked me to be in her photo shoot basically she wanted me to like model the shoes and the accessories and everything and it was really fun so and I hadn't done a photo shoot in like a really long time so I was really excited one of my friends was doing the makeup for the shoot she's like a really close friend of mine and I was kind of looking through her makeup bag to see like what she was gonna put on us and everything and I found two beautiful eyeshadows that just like made me fall back in love with doing makeup looks and everything so I ran to the bathroom and was just kind of swatching them on myself and um, I loved them so I kind of just did my own makeup in the bathroom because I was so excited about these colors so um, these are nothing new but the look I'm doing today is what I wore for the shoot and it's also perfect for this season it's like sparkly yet kind of neutral a little bit more of a sophisticated um, festive look we'll just put it like that and so these are not new, they came out a long time ago, but I'm using the L'Oreal Hip High Intensity Pigments. These are the ones she had and these are the ones that I am using today. I'm using number, let's see, that's 848 and it's called Tenacious and number 102 and it's called Exciting. Yeah, let me just swatch them for you. Um, they come with a little applicator brush. It's actually quite soft. Mm. Doesn't really look so bad. I actually might use this. This is tenacious. See how it kind of has this like um kind of copper hue, but it's still very neutral and nude. I love that about it. Now I'm opening up 102, um, exciting. So, first, at first glance, exciting looks rather boring. That's what I thought when I saw it, but I'm like, let me just take a closer look. And then it's kind of like a very frosty, opalescent baby pink. Hmm. Okay, that's it right there. Yeah, for some reason that pinkness is not coming up on camera. And that's really a shame because this is really beautiful. Okay, well I guess you can kind of see it here. That pink sheen. It's very it's opalescent as well. That's what I really love about it. So yeah, I thought these two colors were beautiful. So starting off, I'm just going to take some of Tenacious, and I'm just kind of tapping it on my on the back of my hand. Now at the shoot, I literally just came and wiped it across my lid. So that's what I'm going to do here as well. Absolutely gorgeous for right now. I mean, it just... If you're not going to wear this during the season, I mean, you're not going to wear this because this is just perfect. I mean, not to say I wouldn't wear it other times because I totally wear this in the summer, <laughs> but tis the season, okay, for looks like this. Oh, now I, I know why I love this so much now. I've been really into rose gold lately. And this looks like rose gold. Especially on my hand here. Tell me that doesn't look like rose gold. So I'm bringing it up to like my socket and like my orbital bone. You could feel that. It's right under your eyebrow. 
I also did take a little and bring it under. Just like that. Okay, now taking Exciting, and I'm actually going to use a little brush they, they um, provided me with this time. It comes with the pigment. Taking Exciting onto my brush, and I'm just going to dust some of that on the back of my hand. And now, with Exciting, I'm just going to go to the edge and blend out where I had the first pigment. And since exciting is so soft, all you're going to see is this very slight iridescent pink. Do you see the difference? It kind of fades out from the shiny color to the iridescent pink that I put over here at the top. Here's something I haven't done in a really long time, but I need to for this look. I'm going to use my Maybelline Line Stiletto um, Liquid Eyeliner in black. Starting in the middle because um, I can just do it more accurately this way. I'm pretty much almost done with the line, but I want to make sure that I get the edge right. Okay, that liner took me way longer than it usually does because I haven't done eyeliner in so long. But yeah, now for the mascara, I'm using Maybelline Define a Lash as usual. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the eyes. As you can see, it's, it's very neutral, soft, but still um, really done with the liner. So now let's move on to the rest of the face. Like I said, I'm going to do exactly how I did during the shoot. And I didn't have any foundation on or concealer. Um, hmm, what else did I do? Oh, okay. The cheeks was next. This is the Stila Convertible Colors in a color that has since worn off. And again, looks like rose gold. I guess I'm, I'm doing a theme here. This is a rose gold holiday look. And this is the color. I'll put the um, name of it in the description box. I do this with my finger also. So that was it for the cheeks, really. Really simple. Um, now I'm going to go back to this Tenacious that I used for the eyes. And tapping a little on my finger, I'm going to actually blend a little bit of it out. And then I'm going to use this as a highlight. So I'm going to go around my cheekbone and then just blend out. Because see what's so good about... I'm sorry, I think, did I call this exciting? Yeah, this is exciting. This is the L'Oreal Hip Pigment um, in exciting. And I'm, what's so good about exciting is it's um, perfect for like winter because it gives you this like frosty pink highlight. I don't know if you can see that. And it's not on this side yet, but it's on this side. And the C, so it's under here and just going in the C shape that you would usually put a highlight in. And the lip is rather daring. That's why that's another reason why I love this look so much. And these um, are some are colors that I've had for a while, but they work really good with this look. So this is the L'Oreal Color Rich Lipstick in 231 Raspberry. There we go. Kind of going to pat it on. Pat sweep it on. Okay, so I put that on, and not super neat, because over it I'm putting my NARS lip gloss in Wonder on top, just to kind of brighten it and um, tie it in with the other colors that I already have on. Yeah, so this is the finished look, everyone. Um, it's really simple and easy. I didn't even use any foundation or concealer, but if you want to, go right ahead and do it. It's really not going to make a difference. Um, yeah, the eye 
is just really shiny and sleek and sophisticated, nothing bright on the eye because really um, you want to draw light to the eye which is why I chose the colors I did but then you want to kind of focus on like the lip. Um, I hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys really soon.